Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going plant shopping. I came to visit my parents, me and Dallas, and Dallas is taking a nap, so I ran out of the house to go grocery shopping to Aldi's because we don't have an Aldi's in my small town. So anytime I'm up here, I try to go to Aldi's and Pike Nursery. <laughs> My parents live right around the corner from this, so I always like to frequent this. So Dallas is taking a nap while Grammy's watching him, and I'm going to do some plant shopping. I don't know if I'll get anything or not. We're just going to see what they have. So I hope you guys enjoy. Alright you guys, we are at Pike Nursery in Matthews, North Carolina and they have so much good stuff. Also, the big giant fan isn't blowing so I can actually talk to you guys. So, let's run through really quick. I'm going to show you what they have because they got a bunch of new stuff since the last time I came in. Um, they have tons of these little mosaicas. They are $29. i am not sure what these tall ones are. What are these? cast iron plant I don't know I don't know what that is but they got lots of good hanging baskets oh there goes a blower check out the Cebu blue they have tons of Cebu blue they're 34 they also have Monstera Celtipicana they have lots of Calathea and aglionemas these are so pretty they remind me of those pictum tricolor 1999 all right you guys i am going to voice over some of it because the leaf blower was going <laughs> and it was really annoying and really loud so excuse the leaf blower noise okay i obviously can't help that but I've got some clips with leaf blower noise in the background. And right now you're probably gonna hear my baby Dallas noise in the background. So, you know, you just trade one for the other. Leaf blower for baby noises. <laughs> they had so much good stuff, you guys. I'm thinking about getting this one. I really don't think this is the Exotica. I think this is the <sighs> Splash or something. Look at these leaves. The leaves definitely look different than the Exoticas. Like, this is more Exotica looking. And see when they're next to each other. Do you guys see the difference? Do I need this? No, I probably don't. But I swear this right here doesn't look like the Exotica. It looks like something else. I can't think of what it is. Like the Splash or something. I don't know if I'm going to get it though. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you think this is a different variety, I know there are so many different varieties of Skindapsis. And I absolutely love Exotica, but this one just looked a little bit different, okay? It really did. It looked the speckles on it. I don't know. I really think this is a splash. And basically what happens is I can't ever make my mind up when I'm in here. And <laughs> I always regret it when I'm watching it back. This was a really good deal for $24.99. The Chelsea's, those are pretty full plants. And they had a bunch of different like hanging staghorns. I need to repot my staghorn. It is desperate need. The Mikans, absolutely gorgeous. $24.99, a huge full pot. They had a bunch of these. I mean, that's a really good deal, I think, for as big a plant as it is. They had so many beautiful pothos and heart leaf. Look at the size of this heart leaf. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, I'm sad mine got taken over by thrips. All right, I don't know. I can't make my mind up. So if I can't make my mind up, I probably shouldn't get anything. I want to redo on my sunroom, my big old giant, where I had my heart leaves, and they have really gorgeous heart leaves like look at how big of a plant this is for 25 so maybe i should try to redo that so many beautiful pothos so many beautiful heart leaves and check out 
these. Okay, I'm kicking myself for not buying this plant right here because once I watch this footage back, I really realize how huge and beautiful it is. $19.99 for this huge imperial red. And the leaves are so nice and shiny. They take such good care of their plants. This looks like a smaller Rojo Congo, like the same type of coloring. This neon color, oh, so beautiful. I really want one of those. I keep seeing all the plants back now and I'm like, oh, I want this, I want that, I want this. But when I'm in here, I just can't pull the trigger on anything. Um, this is a Homey Lomina and I've wanted to add one of those to my collection as well. So I don't know why, again, I'm second guessing myself on everything. I've just been in this place of like, not buying plants for such a long time yet i go to the grocery store and drop like 200 dollars like it's nothing but i'm gonna sit here and second guess um <laughs> spending 25 dollars or 20 dollars on a plant and i know i would be happy like once i bring it home because i feel like my collection is kind of slim right now okay because i haven't been buying plants the past couple years Definitely since before, I guess it started, I quit buying when I was pregnant. So my baby's a one and a half almost. So yeah, it's been a while, okay? I have have not really added many to my collection. This was a silver sword. They had some of these the last time I was there. That one wasn't looking too hot, but look at these. <laughs> okay, I was really debating on this because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It does have this moss pole, which they're pretty much outgrowing it, but they were $39. Um, I don't know if that's a good deal or not, but the leaves were so beautiful, and I don't know. This one I definitely would like to add to my collection. It's either this one... <laughs> the imperial red or that neon philodendron or the exotica this fuzzy petiole i brought one home the last time i came and mine's doing pretty good some of the new leaves are coming out funky so i'm not sure what that's about but look at this okay this one was here the last time i have never seen a prayer plant so full and if i wasn't a prayer plant killer um i would think about bringing that one home as well they had lots of rabbit foot ferns <laughs> tons of bird nests and the little baskets and they had more of the micans they just they have so much good stuff and all the workers everybody here is so nice um i did ask to film in here i always get nervy filming but they were so nice and we're like yeah sure i don't actually have a money tree 39 Okay, I think these peace lilies are gorgeous. It's the domino peace lily. And the leaves are ripply. I had one of these before, but I killed it. $16.99 is a really good deal. Like, look at how big and beautiful that is. But I just know my underwatering self. And if I can kill a pothos, I don't deserve a peace lily. Um, here is the Celta Pecanas, 34. They have a whole bunch of them. And the Cebu Blues looks really good. Like, that's a decent amount. And they're 34 as well. Lots of Peace Lilies. Some ZZs and some ZZ Ravens, 24. And then, of course, they got beautiful heart leaves and pothos. Lots and lots of cuties. Okay, these are going crazy. <laughs> Those look so cute. What are those? There's some kind of like little succulent. I'm not sure. Some string of hearts. And then this purple thing. I have no idea what this little purple thing is. I've never seen that before. I always think these are cute with the little stumps. But I don't know anything about them. gorgeous again i have to stay away from alocasia because <laughs> this is the maharani 1999 because i'll kill them these are so pretty like look at how big the leaves are gorgeous for 1999 i think that's a good deal is that silver dragon i believe i still want bonsais i just i don't know it's a vibe and this little fountain i want all of this Okay, so there is something up here that I haven't seen before. I don't know what it is, 
That's cool looking, isn't it? Um, I'm not even gonna try to say that, but it's got little spiky beans. They also have some other pubic calyx for 24. Some Trivii Moonlight, but look at this Cebu Blue, you guys. Are you kidding me? It has fenestration. These are so mature. Oh, I need to give my Cebu Blue something to climb. If this isn't a sign, I don't know what is, but holy cow. They have two of them. You guys can see why this is my favorite. My favorite place. Okay, is this the... Hold on, what's it called? So... Something. <laughs> Geogonanthus. <laughs> the Geogonanthus. This is cool, because like you can really see... I guess that's how the new leaves come out, I'm assuming. Because I always thought they were all this like dark purple, but... Those are really pretty. They're 24. Some more Tribii Moonlight. Another <laughs> Big Mama. I mean, look at the size of these leaves. Uh, this is insane. I think it's like 100 and something from what I remember the last time I was here. They got lots of these little starter Hoyas. Um, they're $14, which is a good deal. I believe that's just um, Hoya Australis, right? Oh, I think they need a drink. It feels really light. They do. They're thirsty. But that's a good deal. I don't have any of those. Okay, this is where I got my giant macrophylla, and it started off like this, this size. I don't see any price tags on them, but yeah, this is where I got it, and you guys saw how big and crazy it grew. But the pubicalic splashes are really pretty. I'm tempted. Okay, I'm tempted. Then they have some crimson princess <laughs> they have crimson princess and some queens 24 dollars and they have some chelsea right yeah chelsea is 24 that one right there looks so good this will grow into a beautiful big plant like for 24 dollars i think that's a really good deal so that's their little hoyas Ooh, what are these i don't know what these are oh this is a peperomia whoa that's crazy it looks this is peperomia angulata it looks like a hoya to me it really does and the leaves feel hoya-ish very hoya-ish and then is that some spades uh hoya curtsii yeah hoya curtsii up here i love all their little hanging baskets i also love these giant things that they have all their plants hanging from these are cute. I can't remember what they're called. They're like little tree-like things. It says it's called Fabian Stomp. Not a very intriguing name, but <laughs> they got lots, okay? They got lots. Bromeliads. I'm not a big bromeliad fan. They do have a couple little donkey tails. The baby burrow's tail are $16.99. That's a cute little tag. Let's go over here and look at all the little starter plants because these are my favorite. And I always love picking them up because they're usually such a good deal. Um, cute little Sansevieria, some bird nest ones. Also some more Alocasia. Maharani's. This is a good deal, I think. $9.99. Like, that's a decent sized plant. Ooh, I see something over here in the corner. What is this? What are these? Oh, that's that orchid. Every time I'm here, I look at this vanilla orchid. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I want one. But they're $49. There are 49. <laughs> My stingy ass is not going to get that for 49. Okay, beautiful little peace lilies. And these are $7.99. See, they bottom water their plants in here. They take really good care of their plants. Um, okay, some little pineapple plants. That's cute. This guy looks like he needs to be put back. More peperomia. Holy beautifulness. So stinking cute. $7.99 why am i a peperomia killer this is a type that the only type i can keep alive then oh, these are so beautiful i kept these going for a really long time the frost and then these are pretty too with the little pink what is this oh what are you i need you do i need you i feel like i need you okay what are these oh it's an anthurium i don't do really well with anthurium but 14.99 I think that's a really good deal. I wasn't sure what this was, but oh, 
dang this makes me want it like look at how cool that is the leaves are really like ripply and stuff really cool and then they have some syngonium i believe that's the white butterfly those are pretty cute $6.99 that's a good deal oh look how pretty some orbifolia i don't know what this one is what is that one he's cute it doesn't say calathea assorted that's a really cool looking one why do i want to buy another one of these when i know i can't keep it alive 9.99 it's such a good deal ashley anita bought me mine and i killed it <laughs> i killed it last time we went plant shopping like a year ago we got to get together soon some cute little pothos some neon ones these are cute these are cute i like the little shape of the leaves it says it's a philodendron little hope i don't know what that is they're cute though they are cute and i feel like i need i think these are safe i think i need to get one of these for my lizard's tank I think he would like to climb on this maybe if you guys watched my last video my hoya macrophylla this is the same exact place that i got mine from and they have tiny little starter ones how cute are these and they're really good size they have big runners coming if i didn't have a huge plant this would definitely be coming home with me i think they look really good i can't I'm, moving the camera so fast i couldn't see 14.99 so i think that's a good deal if you guys give it something to climb it would take off for you so this is all their little like tiny hoya starter section they had some queens right here and some pubic alex. gorgeous the splash so cute okay and they had long runners i like when they have long runners so you can wrap them up around something i'm not a huge succulent person but all their succulents look so good and as far as I can tell, they're pretty reasonably priced. The only thing I don't like is these, okay? They will never grow. They will stay a heart just like this. I'm over here chatting, but the leaf blower is so, <laughs> so loud. I'm over here telling you, why don't they just give you two leaves so they will grow? Why is it just one leaf? And then I was like, oh, what is this? I don't know what this is, but it is really cool. And I like it. I'm digging it. They also have insanely beautiful, huge plants. Look at this Rojo Congo. Okay. This one was, I think it was a hundred. It is 99. But you know what? I think that's worth it. Look at how big this Rojo Congo is. And giant bird of paradise. Oh, oh. Like, are you kidding me? This peace lily was massive. It's crazy to me how big peace lilies can get when I just see them, you know, pretty average size. I had a giant one one time, but I killed it. I want this. I want this so bad, you guys. It is 49 Philodendron Moonlight. Isn't it gorgeous? Maybe I should get the other smaller one. They had lots of cute little ferns. I do love ferns, but... I can't keep them alive okay if you guys can tell a theme here anything that needs a decent amount of attention and water your girl kills it okay those were so cute what a perfect gift okay there's probably not any dudes out here watching that needs to get a gift for valentine's that would be perfect okay a little heart-shaped succulent how cute super cute all their succulents look really good they also have endless endless amounts of pots so many do i need one of these you guys i've been on a like not buying kick 19.99 i don't know or should i get this because i swear this is not exotica this is like splash or something look at that look at those leaves do i need this or do i just keep buying the same plants over and over again <laughs> am i crazy back at it again to check out if i want to pick up anything okay i always do this i go around and then i come back and i look at the things that i'm thinking about and again kicking myself for not buying something like 
Shoulda bought it. Shoulda bought it. All right, you guys. I'm done. I did not end up finding any i mean i found stuff okay i wanted that one that was like 39 dollars. is it the like raffidophora decursiva i think is what it was maybe i'm saying that wrong or got the plant completely wrong but i wanted that one or one of those like moonlight philodendrons but i could not pull the trigger and the same thing with the exotica i have a bunch of exotica right now that needs to go on leka or needs attention that's probably my mom saying that he's up or something but i have a bunch of exotica that needs attention so it's like why buy that one just because it's a little bit different version when i should be taking care of my own so anywho that's gonna be it for today i hope you guys enjoyed my plant shopping i had fun getting out of the house okay <laughs> getting out of the house by myself so anyways i'll see you guys again soon in another planty video bye